Electricity is very interesting, especially in these buildings where you have power drop all the way inside. It goes to a transformer. This is normally referred to as a GMT or a ground mounted transformer. So the primary side has these HT incoming cables or the high tension cables. Through the delta star connection, you obtain the primary connections. This is definitely the three phases as well as a neutral. Goes to the fuses and from there it goes all the way to a meter board. In the meter board, there are MC cutouts for respective phases. The red phase, the yellow phase and the blue phase. It goes all the way to an MCCB. That is a four pole MCCB. And from there, it goes all the way to what we refer to as bus bars. These bus bars are feeding the double pole switches or the MCCBs. From there, you feed that power to the meters. And then from there, it goes straight to the respective houses. And in these houses, you will find each house has in it a consumer unit. Now from the consumer unit, of course, you know that we have the lighting circuit. So it is fed from its own MCB. And then from there, we have the heaters. The heaters are also fed from their own MCBs. So in most cases, you find that the MCB will be a 32 ampere. For instance, in the case of an instant shower head. We do also have connections for the sockets. The socket may supply appliances in the home, such as the microwave as well as the cooker. A cooker in the kitchen has its own MCB, and therefore it means that it will be able to trip in case there is a fault either in the cooker or in the respective circuit. So an MCB is very important in that home because it protects individual circuits. So the next time that you see a tall building, know that is how electricity is supplied in it. Thank you so much my top boss for your valuable time. Subscribe to this channel so that you don't miss the coming episodes. My name is John Gatehi and this is Top Heights Electricals and Electricians. Goodbye for now.